This lesson will show how to determine a data value of a normal distribution that corresponds to a given percentile using Desmos.com. Assume that scores of a test are normally distributed, the mean score of the test is 82, and the standard deviation is 5.5, which means you know mu is equal to 82 and sigma is equal to 5.5. We're asked to find the test score separating the bottom 90% from the top 10% which would be the 90th percentile indicated by P sub 90. And we're told to round to the hundredths place value. We'll be using the command shown below in Desmos to determine the test score. To begin, let's go to desmos.com, click graphing calculator, then click show keypad, click functions. Under the distributions menu, click normal dist for normal distribution. Now we enter the mean comma, the standard deviation, and therefore we enter 82 comma 5.5, close parenthesis, period. Click functions, and now select inverse CDF. And now we enter the area or percent to the left of the test score, which would be 90% or is a decimal 0 0.9. And the test score that corresponds to the 90th percentile shows below, which is approximately 89.05. Let's click in cell two and verify this. To verify this, we will first graph the normal distribution where the mean is 82 and the standard deviation is 5.5. To do this, click functions, select normal dist, enter the mean of 82 comma, the standard deviation of 5.5, close parenthesis. Next, click the zoom fit button, which is the magnifying glass here on the left. Now we have a nice graph of the distribution Next, we collect find cumulative probability, and now let's verify the area to the left of this test score is 0 0.9, verifying it is the 90th percentile. To do this, leave the minimum at negative infinity and change the max to the test score of 89.05. And notice how the area to the left shows below, which is almost exactly 0 0.9, which is also the area of the shaded region on the graph. If we went down to cell three, and typed in x equals 89.05, we can see the actual test score on the graph of the distribution. So this does verify the test score is the 90th percentile. So let's go ahead and record this and take a look at the second part. We're asked to find the test score separating the bottom 75% from the top 25%, which is the third quartile or 75th percentile. And again, we're told to round to the hundredths place value. So going back to Desmos, we now just need to change the 0 0.9 to 0 0.75 in cell one. And the third quartile, or 75th percentile, shows below, which is approximately 85.71. Again, let's verify this graphically by going to cell two and changing the max to 85.71. And we can see the area to the left is almost exactly 0 0.75. In cell three, we can change the equation to x equals 85.71 to see the exact test score on the graph of the distribution. Let's go ahead and record this test score as well. I hope you found this helpful.